When it comes to performance testing, JMeter is fantastic but not perfect. Automation and integration with other systems can be a pain and the tool itself comes with a steep learning curve. Hence, BlazeMeter introduced Taurus, a free and open source automation framework, which is basically an abstraction layer over JMeter. Taurus provides a simple way to create, run, and analyze performance tests. In this video, we will parameterize multiple JMX files by using a YAML script. You can also use YAML to modify JML scripts. When running JMeter through Taurus, you can run an existing JMeter script. Create a new JMeter script very easily using an YAML text file. In this demonstration, you will write a simple YAML script. Execute the YAML script by passing JMeter test scripts. View results in Taurus console. Now let us see how to execute multiple JMX scripts using YAML. Here is the script. You can see that um, there are two scripts that I have mentioned. So one is JMeter script 1.jmx, the other one is JMeter script 2.jmx. We are going to execute these two scripts using YAML script. I will also show you uh, JMeter script 1.jmx available here and JMeter script 2.jmx file. So these two scripts I am going to execute using this YAML script. To execute the YAML script, we will call the bzt command. So using this bzt taurus script.yaml, we will execute this. So this starts the console and in the console we can see uh, the script getting executed parallelly. You can see jmeter script 2.jmx is getting executed and it got finished within 6 seconds. And jmeter script 1 is also getting executed and this will go on for 2 minutes 30 seconds so uh, in the meanwhile we will discuss the other details that you see on the Taurus console so on the Taurus console you can see how many users uh, are there to test that is how many virtual users are we using to execute this test case so you can see here there are 5 users this is based on the script uh, in JMX script we have specified how many threads okay so based on this it's uh, it, it has created five number of virtual users so you can see here there are five virtual users and you can also see how many are active and how many are inactive you can see how many hits uh, per second you can also see here total hits till now and what is the percentage of success and failure so here it shows failure percentage what is the average time to execute each hit you can see that as well here and the cumulative statistics uh, till this time so you can see that details average time latency bandwidth the response code uh, percentile wise you can see the hits so this is a particular interval not during certain interval what is the average time you can see all that information here so this is nearing completion as you see here it is already completed 2 minutes 6 seconds and another 24 seconds it would take to complete its execution once it completes the execution this console get closed and you can see the final statistics on this command prompt so we will see you can see final statistics you can see here <music> Now let's see how YAML is compiled as JMX using Taurus and then uh, how Taurus uses that JMX file to show up the details or the results of the script on GUI. So here is the script uh, execution. Uh, you can see that the thread groups all that are set up here. 
there are two requests one is a blaze demo request so it invokes http dot blaze demo dot com and then the other one is it invokes reserve dot php file so let me go to the command prompt so in the command prompt I enter YAML script file name using GUI option when you hit enter command so this will invoke the JMX that is it will compile this YAML script into JMX and we will also see the Taurus console that invokes the JMeter GUI so you can comp the results of JMeter GUI uh, with Taurus console and here another advantage is that it will not start the test immediately so you can see the thread group you can see the properties what we have set from the script see how many, what is the duration when it is started and all the other stuff and you can also configure here if you want at this moment and then you can click the start button to start the test so I click the start button here so the test gets started so you can click on the view results tree to see the results of each request that are getting invoked by Taurus so you can see here the same thing gets executed um, both in JMeter GUI as well as Taurus console so you can compare the results uh, here what you have for each request and here it gives the high level details of your threads so you can see both requests gets executed here you can also see each request uh, information from JMeter as well. So the advantage of GUI option is to compare the results of your test case using JMeter as well as Taurus console. Also you have noted that using GUI option Taurus compiles YAML file into JMX. And if you want to stop you can also stop the request from here by clicking on the stop button and here you can go through in detail about each details here so what is the thread name when it started how much load time it takes how much connect time what is the latency how much uh, size okay packet size headers so all that details you can see here you can also see the response code response headers so now that it stopped so you can see that the green button is enabled again so you can see in uh, the information here in JMX console as well as Taurus console so you can see that uh, the test result on 100% that means the third group completed or got executed let me click the command prompt so here I am waiting for Taurus to complete it with full description. So now you see that it got shut down and in uh, post processing, so it gives the final results. Now let's see how to execute two JMeter scripts parallelly. I have uh, two JMX files here. One is JMeter script one dot JMX, the other one is JMeter script two dot JMX. Now let's see how to execute these two files parallelly using Taurus. So you can see here BZT JMeter script one dot JMX. So the command says JMeter script two dot JMX. Once you hit enter, it starts its execution. And here you can see that the Taurus console comes up now. So the Taurus console sees uh, what's happening during execution. So this JMeter script 1.jmx file started running. JMeter script 2.jmx, it took 5 seconds to execute the test case and it finished its execution. You can also see the other statistics while it gets executed. 
uh, this nearly takes uh, almost 2 minutes 30 seconds uh, to complete its execution now it nears the completion so it is uh, almost 2 minutes 26 seconds in another 10 seconds it will get completed once it gets completed it will close the task console and you can see the command prompt for the final statistics so we have seen uh, how to execute uh, multiple jmx scripts parallelly now we will look at how to extract detailed report on blaze meter by using report option so here we will execute bzt jmeter script one dot jmx hyphen report so this report option will help us to see the detailed report of uh, execution of this test on blaze meter so once you hit enter it starts execution you can see parallelly the Taurus console as well as the blaze meter comes up now so you can see the Taurus console getting executed here and the blaze meter is also invoked so this test case will go on for 2 minutes 30 seconds so meanwhile you will be able to see this report analysis on blaze meter as well blaze meter is waiting for the server yeah now it has come up you can see the report being generated on blaze meter the advantage of uh, blaze meter is that it is visually you can uh, see the detailed analysis you can also save using executive summary option you also have various stamps here for better analysis of your test results and here you can see how many users in Taurus as well as you place meter you can see here how many virtual uses how many hits uh, what is the failure percentage all these details you can also see here so here it is nearing the completion in another 20 seconds uh, the execution will be done and then you will finally see the cumulative results on blaze meter so once the test is uh, test execution is completed this Taurus console will get closed automatically and then we will see the results on blaze meter console yeah, got executed closed now you will see the detailed report on blaze meter so you can see what is the duration and how much time it took to complete the execution thanks for watching this video